mushroom has a voice if you let it speak. This is what the mushroom told Terence McKenna. I am a mole, older than thought in your species, which is itself 50 times older than your history. Though I have been on Earth for ages, I am from the stars. My home is no one planet. For many worlds scattered through the shining disk of the galaxy have conditions which allow my spores an opportunity for life. The mushroom which you see is the part of my body given to sex thrills and sunbathing. My true body is a fine network of fibers growing through the soil. These networks may cover acres and may have far more connections than the number in a human brain. My mycelial network is nearly immortal. Only the sudden toxification of a plant or the explosion of its parent star can wipe me out. By means impossible to explain because of certain misconceptions in your model of reality, all my mycelial networks in the galaxy are in hyper-light communication across space and time. The mycelial body is as fragile as a spider's web, but the collective hypermind and memory is of the vast historical archive of the career of the evolving intelligence on many worlds in our spiral star swarm. Space, you see, is a vast ocean to those hardy life forms that have the ability to reproduce from spores. For spores are covered with the hardest organic substance known. Across the eons of time and space drifted many spore-bearing life forms in suspended animation for millions of years until contact is made with a suitable environment. Few such species are minded. Only myself and my recently evolved near relatives have achieved the hyper-communication mode and memory capacity that makes us leading members of the community of galactic intelligence. How the hyper-communication mode operates is a secret that will not be given lightly to humanity. But the means should be obvious. It is the occurrence of psilocybin and psilocin in the biosynthetic pathways of my living body that opens for me and my symbiosis the vision screens to many worlds. You as an individual and mankind as a species are on the brink of the formation of a symbiotic relationship with my genetic material that will eventually carry humanity and Earth into the galactic mainstream of the higher civilization. Since it is not easy for you to recognize other varieties of intelligence around you, your most advanced theories of the politics and the society have advanced only as far as the notion of collectivism. But beyond the cohesion of the members of the species into a single social organism, there lie richer and even more baroque evolutionary possibilities. Symbiosis is one of these. Symbiosis is a relation of mutual dependence and positive benefits for both of the species involved. Symbiotic relationships between myself and the civilized forms of higher animals have been established many times and in many places throughout the long ages of my development. These relationships have been mutually useful. Within my memory is the knowledge of hyperlight drive ships and how to build them. I will trade this knowledge for a free ticket to new worlds around suns less forsaken and nearer galaxy center. To secure an eternal existence down the long river of cosmic time, I again and again offer this agreement to higher beings.